Hey, Tommy. Morning. Can we? Can you hear me? Someone awesome. Great. Yeah. Right, yeah. Phones. So coming to you directly. Through the screen. Nice jump, Zach. All right, I will wait a little bit because last time we had time we had a lot of people. Excuse me. So um, I'm going to ask if everyone, if everyone could turn on could their cameras, but mute their uh, turn on their cameras, but mute their microphones, please. Just makes it pretty easy. But great job, guys. You're doing pretty good. Awesome. Alex, Matthew, Aiden. Awesome. I hurt my knee. Because, like I said before, that we had lots of people. We had lots of people on this one last time, um, and I'm hoping I did a good job last time. So hopefully, there's the same amount of people this time. But if not, I won't be too offended. All right, I reckon we get into it. Um, so today I'm going to teach you three, hopefully three cool moves. Um, one of them, two of them are mine. Well, not mine. I came up with them, but I'm sure if someone else does. Oops. Yeah. Oops. This is live television. Um, and the other one is from our Frankston Blues captain, Igor uh, Hadziomerovic. Iggy. So, but we're going to start off with just a nice uh, warm up. So, first thing I want you to do no basketball. Uh, we're just going to get into our defensive slide into a joint check. Okay, so just nice and wide, low, just across, and then sink down into a joint check. Okay. Guys, all right. Uh, next one I'm going to go into is just some forward lunges. So, just switching legs each time. Um, stepping forward, dropping this back knee. Okay. Then we go leg. Okay. Stepping forward, stepping forward, dropping that back knee. And then stretching out your hip flexor. Awesome. Uh, where we go? Final line. So I've got one here. 
I hope you can hear me. Um, but find a line, and you're just going to be jumping either side of the line, okay? So just jump on either side of the line. Go for it. Good job. So we'll go to our just our right foot now. So just one foot. And our left foot. Our left foot is much slower. Awesome. All right. Thank you for your jumpers. If you're really hot. And uh, I'm going to get into our first move. So, um, our first move is going to be a spin move. So, um, can I get just say hi or here or yes um, if you are an under 16 player by any chance or older? Cool. Yep. Okay, yeah. cool. So, some of the stuff that we do, um, if you can sort of see how it's going and think you can progress and just and start practicing it, then go for it, okay? So, you by all means um, have a license just to go ahead. But what we're going to start with, uh, for everyone, is... Your camera oh, it is too windy for my phone, but we'll see how we go. I believe in Frank's Hey there. All right. So, what we're going to start off with, we're going to have our cones. We're going to have our cones. working on now is a spin move. So a lot of people are a bit unsure. And I've tried to teach you before, but this is actually good work. Okay, so our work is you're gonna put your opposite leg, so you my right leg, my opposite leg is going across my body. It fell again. Goodness. I oh, know. Stay there. Stay there. Right. Putting this opposite leg across your body and you're dribbling in between, so in between both legs. So, like that. Alright? Then what's going to happen from there? I'm going to drop this back leg. Okay? This is the beginning of our move. Just we're going to learn how to do a spin move. Alright? So, what's important with this one? Being able to do this dribble. Oh, no, we didn't do that last time. All right. All right, so that's what we're going to start with. So I need everyone to find a line. And with one hand, we're going to be going over and across this line, okay? So, we're practicing this dribble where we're pulling and then pushing the ball, okay? So, see how I'm making a, U, uh, a rounded shape with this ball. I'm going to find a weight or something to hold this phone up. It's not doing the trick. All right, good job. That's it. Well done, guys. So that's it. So bouncing over and forward, back and forward. So over and across. You're pulling and then you're pushing. We're having technical difficulties. Good job. This is much better. Yeah, awesome. All right, we're going to switch over to our left hand. So now, over and across, we've got the left hand. What I want you to try and practice when you're doing this 
or for anyone who's thinking this is pretty easy. Good, good job. The next step to this is being able to drop the ball in the right spot. Okay, so you can imagine if I've got a defender on me there, you guys are my defender, I want to put the ball on this side of my body. Okay, so protecting the ball with my body. So if I do a spin move, it's here, it's protected when I come in, drop my right leg, I want to drop the ball on this side of my body now. So, and then drop it behind my body. Okay? Drop it behind my body so it's all still protected. Okay, so, just practice a couple times with this cone in front of your right foot, stepping across your left, up in front of it, pulling, and then dropping. Okay, step, pull, drop. Just get used to being in that position. What we're going to do now, we're going to use this uh, to score. So, I want you to step the time to turn your ring. What we're going to do is just take a couple rhythm dribbles, just get used to it. Right hand to begin with. So step forward with our left foot before our cone. Dropping that right foot again, we want to keep this ball if you can try and keep this ball protected. So, dribble it when you spin, you keep it here. Does that make sense? Um, and then we're going okay. So, again, just doing our spin move into the layer. Now, if you're comfortable already, I want you to try with your left hand now. So, that would mean stepping forward and across our body with our right foot. So you can imagine our cone or our marker is like our defender. So if this cone is the middle of our defender, like here, it's like you're placing your foot like towards the middle of our feet. Okay, so what would happen is if I was dribbling and I have to step here, you would think I'm gonna go this way, correct? But then what's happening is I'm dropping this foot. And you're keeping your defender on your back. Let's go. All right. So now, what we're going to work on, I want you to grab your second cone. So grab your second mark if you have one. Okay, and now we're going to go to this side. Okay. Now we're working on that chest that's here still. Here. Now, what I want you to be able to do, um, I want you to be able to get this second foot to be almost straight. So, see how they're straight? So, I don't want this second foot to be out here, like this. I want it to be further down. 
Okay, so really practice getting that second step. That second step, really get that second step around, okay? So that first step is to get this second step all the way around. All right? Can't hear. What was that? I said I can't hear. Can't hear. Okay, so all we're working on, guys, is our spin move. We're trying to get that second step now all the way around. Not all the way around, but try and really spin it. So instead of just going step to here, go step to here. You see the difference? So the difference is after that first step it goes here, we're not just going here, we're going all the way around, okay? So really work on getting that second step, dropping it towards the ring, okay? That's what we want to work on, okay? This, that's what we're working on now. And then go forward with a layer. All right, good job, we're gonna work, move on, okay? So now, this is the real fun part. Now, if you're left-handed, so you're a left-handed shooter, you're gonna do this drill with your left hand, okay? If you're right hand, you're doing it with your right hand, okay? So, I'll explain it to all the right-handed people, and then left-handed people, um, you can try and figure it out. No, I'll tell you about that. Okay, so. Now we're doing our spin move, but now after we get our second step all the way around, now we're doing a step back. So, first step, second step, we're protecting the ball, now I'll come back to our shot, okay? So the whole idea is you've got to keep this ball, um, you've got to keep your body in between the ball and your defender. Okay, so when I start with that spin move, it's here. When I'm here, I'm dropping it on this side, this side of my body. I'm dropping my leg nice and far, and I'm going to come back to that shot. Okay, so I'll give you a second okay? I've got one, two, step back, jump up. I'm going to blame the wind. Okay? So I want you to give that a try. Left hand people, you're doing the same with your left hand, okay? So step forward with your right foot, left foot goes, then you come back with your left hand. Let me see. Nice, Raf. Good job. Keep it up, guys. So Aiden, keep spinning. Keep going the, all, the whole way around. So spin the whole way around first. Yeah, then there you go. Awesome. Now Aiden, go dribble with your right hand. Oh. Yep, dribble with your right hand. Do with your right. Good job. There you go. And then and then step back. Yep. Nice. Awesome. So drop that right leg more, Aiden. Yeah, good. And then all the way back. Good. Great job. Oops. Fantastic. All right. Great job, guys. All right, we're going to move on to our next skill. So that's our first one. That is our spin move step back. All right. This next one, we're going to work on a Euro step. Okay, but we're gonna. I'm gonna make it pretty cool. 
or at least I'll try to. So, for those who don't know what a Euro step is, we do a layer and we're going wide and then wide. Okay, so it's like we're taking our first step, we're faking them out, going one step this way, we're faking them out, and then our second step, we're pushing off and going left. Okay, so one, two, into our layer. Okay, so. Wide, wide. I want you to just practice that for a second. Good job. So we're practicing our Euro steps. Good job. Wide, wide. Can you do that one more time. Sorry. I, yeah, absolutely, I can. So. Thank you. We're just going practicing our Euro step. So what that is, you can imagine um, they're in line with my feet. Sorry, see them. Our first step's going out wide this way, our second step's going out wide this way. Okay, so we're just making it on one, two, into our layer. Thank you. Okay. So we're just practicing that. Nice. Great job. All right. So now, um, what I want us to work on, this is called a zero step. So zero as in the number below one, this is our zero step. And what that means is it's the step when you're dribbling. So if you're dribbling a basketball, you're allowed to step as many times as you want, correct? Now, if the ball is up here, it's still, but you haven't put it down yet and your hand's still on top of the ball, it's still considered a dribbling, you're still considered in a dribbling action, okay? So you're allowed to take steps, okay? Now we're gonna take one step more. So when this ball's up here, we're taking one step more. So the way we're gonna practice that, I want you to start, we're gonna take four steps, starting with our right foot. So I'll say that again, four steps, with starting with our right foot. So we'll go right, left, right, left, okay? He's frozen. That's a pity. Am I frozen? Um, can, can you hear me? Oh, I'm not frozen. Can I get a thumbs up if you can see me and hear me? Great, awesome. All right, so all I want you to do, we're gonna start with our right hand. I'm gonna go right, we're gonna dribble on our first step. That second step, the ball is just gonna be up in our hand. And then we're gonna take our last two. Okay, so that second step, our left hand is our zero, our left foot, sorry. Our second step, so our first step with our left foot is our zero step. Now that might be a bit confusing, but what I'm trying to tell you is you can take four steps with one dribble and it is allowed. Okay, so if I come up here, I'm gonna go right, left, right, left. Okay, but my second, my first left, the ball is up in my hand. Okay, one, two. Okay, so it's four steps, one dribble. That's what I want you to practice. Right, left, one, two. So that's, you're taking a step while the ball is just hanging up in the air. Okay. So I'm taking four steps. One, two, three, four. That way up, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I want you to try and practice that, okay? So try and take four steps with one dribble into our layer.
know what? We're going to try and do something different. All right, so with our cones, with our marker, we're going to try and practice an in and out dribble. Okay, so those who know an in and out dribble, we're going to go to it. But it's like our first dribble, we're going over and back. But now, when we go over, we just bring it back to the same side. We go over and bring it back here. Okay, and same again. So we're going over, back. I'm going over and I'm going to bring it back in. The same again, we want to leave left shoulder. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're just going to do this dribble now. So try and practice this dribble for a little bit, guys. It's called an in and out dribble. In and then it comes out. All right. Now what I want is you do an in and out dribble into a euro step. Okay. So come in. Good job, guys. All right, we're going to get into some pivots, okay? Good job. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I want you to start underneath the ring, okay? Now, what we're doing is we're just gonna practice getting used to pivoting all four ways. Okay, so we have our forward, we have our two forward pivots. So we go forward, or forward. And we have our two reverse pivots, two backwards pivots. Where we go backwards or backwards. Okay, so this is forward, this is backwards. Okay, forward, backwards. All right. So let's just start off starting underneath our ring. Um, Sorry, Tom, but I have to go. Thank you. No worries. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. See ya. What is the time? Um, wait one second, guys. All right, I'm back. Okay, so we're starting underneath the ring. I want you to try and practice spinning all different, all four different ways, okay, with our footwork. Now, the important part is when we spin the high foot here. So as if you all the ring, I'm going to spin back. I always want this foot to be a little bit in front of this foot. Okay? So if I'm spinning forward like this, I want this foot to be in front of this foot. Okay? That, that way, if I get it, and I'm here, then my weight is going forward so I can shoot it. If I'm going like this, and my foot, this foot's behind this one, it's hard to go forward and shoot it, okay? That's the same with the other three. If you go like this, I want this foot in front of this foot. First shot. Okay? Cool. All right. All right. 
right, so good job. So try and practice the different type of pivots, okay? So we're just gonna spin it out from the ring. Spin it out. Jump stop, keep anyone on the floor. Now, uh, we're going to get into some different kind of work. So try and do some fakes now. So imagine you're the ring. So this is the ring here, these cones. We're going to throw it out this way. So shot faking, forward pivot, shot faking. So Alex, go to keep that pivot foot down. Good job. There you go. Well done. Great job. All right. To finish off, we're just gonna work. We're just gonna go for competition. Okay. So the competition is. Our first move. So that spin move, step back, okay? It's gonna be the first person to make five shots on that spin move, step back. Ready, set, go. Good job, good job. Well done, Caleb. Done. Well done. All right. Done. Good job, guys. Five, 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 five. five. I got well five. Done. Well done. Um, I hope you had some fun this morning. Um, I hope you learned something new. Um, but, yeah, that is our session today. And um, I want to say thank you all for coming out. It's been a pleasure seeing all your faces. And um, it's great to know you're all still training. All right. See you later, guys. Another 10 minutes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Tom. Tom. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye, Alex.